Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just finished applying moisturizer and my foundation because I'm getting a little tired of showing you how silly I can look. I use a moisturizer from Sephora called Instant Moisture and Cream with Hyaluronic Acid Booster. So I am blending these two products. My skin's combination and sensitive, and right now in the winter, it's mostly um, dry. So I use this matte for the full coverage, and then this like a dewy foundation. So it's like a, a good blend for me. It works. So I'd like to get started on my eyes. I'm gonna try my best to just use one palette that I'm gonna use from NYX Cosmetics. It's called Swear By It. Let's start with this color. They don't have names. Yes, they do have names, oh gosh. There's a lot of them. Let me figure this out. Nope, no names. This is uh, just number 24. Next, I'm gonna use this yellow in number 13. Go back with the same colors, blending and make them a little bit brighter. Next with this really flat concealer brush that I got at NYX, number 14, I'm gonna use my Tarte Concealer Shape Tape and I'm gonna cut this eyelid, not literally. Okay, now I'm gonna use a number seven from the palette. It's like a gold, like a bronzy gold color. So I'm gonna be very honest. I wish I would have picked a different color for this part, but it's okay. We can always add something else on top. I said I was gonna try to use one palette, but yeah. Unfortunately, I can't give you the name of this, but it is from MAC and it's glitter and I believe it was a sample so I don't have the name of it. Sorry. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. This is working out. Okay. Woo. Saved it. Okay. Now I'm going to do something with these eyebrows. I'm going to just use an eyeshadow that's here. Okay, so now with a deeper purple, uh, number 33. I'm gonna go back in with um, previous color to bring it back out. I'm gonna clean up the bottom and then apply the same colors that I used here on, in the layers underneath. So my daughter is here. She is also putting on some makeup. Nova, do you want to show them what you've done? Isn't she lovely? <laughs> I love it, baby. You're so creative. <laughs> so I didn't mention the bronzer that I just used is called Mineral Fusion. Um, and it's in the color Luster. My mom actually got me this from Whole Foods. I'm gonna use a highlight from Artist Couture. Now I'm gonna use this mascara by Milk Makeup and it's called Kush Waterproof. So I wanted to share that I think one of my kids, I have two kids, I think one of my kids lost my eyeliner i'm gonna blame it on them because i have no idea where it went um so i'm not gonna be putting on eyeliner today so i'm just gonna do um mascara followed by some eyelashes and call it a day so 
But typically, if you're not very good at eyeliner, mascara and fake lashes are an easy trick to make that top lid look full. Can't find my pencil sharpener, but I have this NYX Grade Matte Lip Liner, and in, it's in the color Canes, Cannies. Anyway, it's not very sharp, so wish me luck. So I already applied the glue on my eyelashes, so I'm waiting for those to set. I put them on. So I know I'm being a little bit ghetto right now, but I have this YSL lipstick that melted and got everywhere. So I'm trying to scoop some of the color out of the tube because it's so pretty. Okay, yeah, I had to turn it off because putting on eyelashes is a little bit difficult for me. So I'm pressing them so that they can fuse to my natural lashes so you don't see like straight lash and then the curl. I see that a lot. Don't do that, guys. So that's why I applied the mascara beforehand so that it can also stick. Also, pressing it will make sure that the lash is directly on the line. Makes it a little bit harder to take off, but beauty is pain. So now, my mascara on the lower lash. I realized in some of my past videos that I make some really stupid faces, like... So I'm trying really hard not to do that. Cover girl um, lip gloss that was given to me. So this is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe.